ready for you next time, bird brain! This is my blogs on the voice actors, my favorite voice actors. I'm going to spotlight a lot of the voice actors from G.I. Joe, from Transformers, and from a bunch of my favorite 80s cartoons. And to start with, I'm going to go with Michael Bell. I've met him several times, I've talked to him online, and I'm just a huge fan of his. I can tell from the fun things that he's done in person at conventions that he had to be one of the fun ones in recording sessions. And uh, today, what he normally does is he's huge into animal rights. He's huge into protecting animals. And he's just a lovable guy who cares very much about what's going on in the world. And he's also huge into promoting his daughter, Ashley, which is a wonderful actress. She uh, has done theater. She's done a lot of movies. She's been in a couple of scary ones that I like, like um, The Exorcist. And I don't want to say that wrong, because he might beat me later. <laughs> but uh, him and his wife, Victoria, they're huge. The whole family is into acting. So it's no surprise that Michael's daughter, Ashley, got into it, too. But um, I want to spotlight on Michael and some of the characters he's done. And I've got a list here, actually, so if I glance down, because he's got quite a list, you know that he's... It's just like a ton of characters. Mainly, he uh, did Prowl from Transformers. Everybody knows Prowl. He did Sideswipe, Bombshell. He did Scrapper. Swoop, me, swoop, no see nothing. And that's the best I could do. <laughs> me, swoop, no see nothing. And he did um, Voltron which he did Lance and Spin, Spin who didn't stay around very long, and he did two of my favorite Smurfs, which was Handy and Grouchy, but I kind of like Hefty too, it's such a strong Smurf. <laughs> and then he's done a lot of Robot Chicken with that stuff too. And he did Zan and Gleek from uh, the Super Friends and Challenge of the Super Friends he was in. I know he did Riddler too. And he did some parts in Plastic Man. He did uh, Incredible Hawk 1982. And now the G.I. Joe list, I'm going to cheat. I know that he did Duke. And I know that he did Major Blood. And he did Zamont, which uh, Coy Burton did Tomax. And uh, some I didn't know he did was Lift Ticket. I didn't know he did Clutch. I didn't know he did Boat Short Torch. He did Scrap Iron. I mean, he did a ton of characters. And he also did Darkwing Duck from, uh, well, he didn't do Darkwing Duck, but he was in Darkwing Duck. He was one of the villains. And uh, he was in DuckTales and Tailspin. Lots of Disney. I love Disney cartoons. So uh, he did lots of Disney. He's been in Star Trek films. And he's done Cars. He's done some extra voices in the new cartoon Cars. And he also played Duke's father in the G.I. Joe Renegades cartoon not too long ago, along with B.J. Ward, who did Scarlet's. I mean, not, she wasn't Scarlet. She was Duke's mother. But it kind of, like, makes sense, because Michael Bell was Duke, and B.J. Ward was Scarlet. And together they got together in this cartoon, and they were Duke's parents, which kind of, like, clicks the story together in some way but I thought it was pretty cool and um also Michael Bell did uh, for Ratchet and Clank he did a lot of video games for that he did Star Wars video games I mean he's just really been in the business really popping it out there and um I just want to spotlight some of the toys and um like I said he's a talented wonderful guy and I want to say hi and uh, share some of these toys with you now. This is my original Duke. This is the first Duke that came out. That was Michael's character, Duke. I left Scarlet upstairs. We'll teach BJ Ward later. 
and then this is Major Blood. He's like, I'm from Australia, I think. <laughs> Actually, he's like, I might. Where's the Baroness? I want to ask her out on a date. But this is Major Blood. One of Michael's characters again. I'll put him back on Cobra Island here in a little bit. And the twins, a lot of people get these guys confused. But it was Zaymont and Tomax was Corey's. This was Corey Burton's and this was Michael Bell's. How can you tell them the difference? Zaymont, Michael Bell's character, has a scar on his face. He took a hit. Ah! He didn't feel it though. He felt it more. Because you remember, if one gets hit, the other one's going to feel it instead. And vice versa. Because they're twins. They share it all. And then I want to share my San Diego Comic Con Prowl from last year. My friend Jamin picked that up for me. I'm a huge fan of Prowl, so it's I had to have them. <clears throat> and then I have a mint and box Sideswipe, which was one of Prowl's characters. This is the original from the 80s. I'm huge into collecting the the uh, G1 vehicles. I don't uh, play with toys very much. Even back in the 80s, I was a teenager at the time. So I wasn't one to play with my toys very often. And um, Prowl was one of those. I mean, Sideswipe was one in uh, Prowl. I've never had a desire to open them up. I have tried to transform some loose ones. I do transform them. But I won't transform any of the new toys. I just leave them in card unless Tony wants to play with them. But um, I've just been the type that I never, I've never had the desire to open up toys, even uh, back in the 80s, in the early 80s, the late 70s. I remember my mom and dad getting me the strawberry shortcake dolls, and I did open those, but I didn't play with them. They sat up on the shelf most of the time. I just uh, liked looking at them. And this is another one. This is uh, one that Tony got me for my birthday. Several years back, I would say around 2004, 2005, he got me the boxed Prowl. I am a huge Prowl fan, and uh, I told him I wanted to start collecting G1 stuff, and uh, this was the first one he got me because he knew I loved Prowl. And I want to show a couple other little Prowl exclusive things. This car that Tony made me the first year we met each other. It's made out of yarn, and he's taken quite a beating. I would say it's more from loving. But on the back side, it says Rosie's Box. But uh, it's made completely out of yarn and canvas. And then the last thing I want to show, which I don't normally open them up too often, but I wanted to show them to you fans and show them to Michael because I'm a huge, like I said, a Prowl fan is a customized from a guy named Prow Pants uh, Prow's Pants <laughs> a customized Prow Action Master now originally he didn't come with the doors but the way he designed them he designed them so he had the doors I keep them sealed in box he's my little Prow bot I've always been a huge fan of Prow and it shows he's my little Prow Anyhow, until the next blog, which will be Dan Gilvezan, keep it real, guys.